Uh, today, we're going to look at a little bit more body language of uh, Alex Murdoch. Please note that uh, on the left, we see the prosecutor Waters, and on the right, we see Alex Murdoch accused and convicted of murdering his wife and son, Paul. Now, the prosecutor was really blatant and blunt in this section. What I'm going to do is I first will show you the, the clip and just observe and see what you see. Are you a family annihilator? A family annihilator? You mean like, did I shoot my wife and my son? Yes. No. I would never hurt Maggie Murdoch. I would never hurt Paul Murdoch under any circumstances. Right back. I'm going to pause here for a second. Now, I'm going to make some comments while replaying that section. Now, first of all, when you look at his body position, you can see he's a little bit crouched over and uh, his hands are probably on his lap or something like that. Now, that, that bent over position shows, quote unquote, submission. It also gives a faint hint of quote unquote cooperation. I'm not in charge. I let you be in charge. I'm being cooperative. Now then that brutal question comes. Mr. Murdoch, are you a family annihilator? Now we see also that when he said many times in the past that he's shaking yes with his head. Now, this is a common behavioral pattern for Alex Murdoch. He confirms with nodding yes or shaking no. And that is fairly consistent when he's telling the truth. Now he's being asked, are you a family annihilator? A family annihilator? People that repeat a question are buying time. They're buying time to fabricate an answer or probably in this case to control his anger. It's an anger management tool. Again, buying time. You mean like, did I shoot my wife and my son? Yes. Again, he repeats the question, but in a different way. He bought even more time. Now, look how, how his forehead is uh, wrinkled because he's opening up uh, his eyes and, and eyebrow, and he has a death stare. No. Now he said f affirmative, no, but he's shaking, yes. But never hurt Maggie murdered. I would never hurt Paul murdered. And then he said, I would never hurt Maggie Murdoch. I would never hurt Paul Murdoch. Now, these are weak statements. Why are they weak? Because of the word would. You see, when you, don't, when you didn't kill your wife uh, and son, you would say, I did not kill my wife I did not kill my son. That's a strong statement. But would not only suggest you wouldn't. Think about the lie he had about uh, the, the dog kennel. I was not at the dog kennel. And then he was caught in a lie because of the video that Paul made and his voice is heard. You see, when you make a strong statement, you can get caught in a lie. If you have a weaker statement, I would not, I don't think I was at the kennel at that time, then you have a way out. So making strong statements as a, as a lie are prone to be caught. That's why he says, I would not. 
under any circumstances. And he continues nodding yes. Now look at this behavior here. Now you see that he's licking his lips. And that is an important tell. You see, people that get anxious use a lot of energy. And when you're anxious, you get a dry mouth. So your lips are drying and your tongue are drying. So you start moving your tongue around in your mouth and lick your lips in order to create saliva. And now look at that sigh and that stare at the prosecutor. Now let's move on. Oh, that is rage. He know he got caught. Look at him. If looks could kill, the prosecutor would fall dead right now. And now he's moving his hands because he's so anxious he needs to get rid of that energy. <laughs> Total rage. Now you've looked at this section. I made some comments. Now look at it again. Mr. Murdoch, are you a family annihilator? A family annihilator? You mean like, did I shoot my wife and my son? Yes. No. I would never hurt Maggie Murdoch. I would never hurt Paul Murdoch. Under any circumstances. It is interesting how word selection and body language give away deception. <laughs> 